Okay, in today's adventure, we're off to see the National Museum in San Jose, Costa Rica. Woohoo! And then we're walking. We're walking, we're walking. Just a mix of residential and business, completely scattered. And an interesting mix of new and old architecture, all bodged together just outside the downtown core right now. And here we are. Oh, look, there you are. Boy, that screen is so tiny. Yeah. Here on the upper level, we have completely out of context little artsy real boxes. <laughs> Bye. 
So, something that struck me here at the National Museum of Costa Rica after two hours of learning about the history from pre-Columbian through, you know, today, basically. Uh, and this is something I noticed when we were doing museums in Panama as well. There is so much history of civil war, civil uprising, violent upheaval, uh, just massive, massive societal changes in these countries. And they're so close to home, and yet we learn basically nothing about them in school in the United States. Uh, you may learn something about the Sandinistas, but that's really in the history of, you know, Reagan and Holly North. But the, the various civil wars and things that have happened in Latin America and the government turnover and the exploitation of the countries and their peoples by various multinational corporations, we really don't hear about that. It's when you come to the country and start learning about the history, then there's a, a whole bunch of sort of holy crap moments. Like I had no idea. Uh, some of the things I, I was tangentially aware of through reading, but not to the level of detail, and certainly nothing that was ever taught in 12 years of public education. I don't know, should you ban it? Okay, so wrapping up our uh, visit to the National Museum of Costa Rica, I want to do a special shout out, our two most recent supporters on Buy Us a Coffee, Marty Warnke and Lucia Marinick. We do appreciate your support. We will absolutely frivolously waste the money on cold beverages. And as always, the, the tour that I'm providing via video is not meant to be all inclusive meant to pique your curiosity, show you enough to make you want to come and visit it, or go visit something. Just go see something. Travel. Somewhere. Travel. Travel. Do it. Even if you can only get, you know, an hour from your hometown, go see something you haven't seen before. Okay, see you next time. What okay. Do we do? What do we do? So, uh, well, we're, we're talking about our visit to the National Museum. Two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. Yeah. And 5,000 steps. No. 5,000 steps. I'm excited about that part yeah, too. Yeah. So much history. Did so you, much did you learn a lot? Oh, so much. And, and I particularly, I don't know if like is the right word, but the other interpretation of Columbus discovery. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. From the, from the perspective of the people who had already discovered the land that he yeah, discovered. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, yes, that was. Yeah, so much to see. Yeah. But definitely recommend it if you're oh, in San Jose. Yes. For real. Well yes. worth the, what was it, like 12 bucks a person to get Something in? Something like that, yeah. Um, they have butterfly gardens and all sorts of displays, and, and yeah, it's definitely, I don't know how long we were in there, but. Two and a half hours. Two and a half we hours. We just established that. Uh, yeah, I'm so You need tired. to drink the water. <laughs> I, yeah. I do. Okay, well, we're going to yep. get something cold to drink then. See you next time. See ya.